This sort of leads us into what I was hoping to ask you next is Vince McMahon. Uh, now he's gone a few weeks. You've watched a couple of the WWE shows with him gone. And I'm sure while you were there between 2013, 2016, you'll have noticed or have been told not to say certain words or do certain things because it angers Vince McMahon. And yep. some of them are really, really nonsensical. Like you can't say fans or wrestlers or belt or, I mean, I wrote some more down. I always play to the hard camera. Um <laughs> <laughs> always watching backstage uh like if you're watching a monitor backstage you're almost like behind the tv watching it so you know just weird sort of setups like that but what are the ones that stick out in your mind well one of the word, weirdest stick uh, uh you say six out of my head was you, all of a sudden there's a, a, a an interviewer there and we're looking for oh there he is right there just happens to be there right and she walks in and said you're shooting down this hallway the hallway is empty I mean, you got all these thousands of people sitting out in the stands and they're cheering and they're, uh, they're loud. And, but all of a sudden that whole background is entirely vacant for some reason, or you got two guys that like technicians or something, they're writing some stuff down, but they're way, way at the far. I don't know. It looks so out of context. And, but they never looked at it that way. One, one reason they do it that way is because they shoot it in the afternoon. I got that. But the fans don't get that. You know, you should make it busy like it was like the show's going on. You know, people are going to be running back and forth. And that was one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. Of course, I couldn't say anything about it. It is what it is. That's the way they do it. Okay, let's go. Give me my check. Let me go home, pay some bills. Another thing is a guy standing in the back all by himself and he's looking at the monitor at an, at an angle and he's out there by himself and he's just watching it standing there. I don't get that either. And I know what, what they're trying to convey is that he's there and he's paying attention. So he's going to, he may be running into the ring. I got that. They're trying to draw the connection. It was in their, 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 Physical appeal to it, the the visual appeal to it, is just was just off center. Now I think that's a Kevin Dunn. I think that's a Kevin Dunn uh, addition there, but it didn't, didn't make any sense. And oh, they've done all kind of. You couldn't say certain words like like you said wrestler. No, oh, don't say wrestler. Say entertainer or DQ. sports. I'm, I'm, I apologize for interrupting you. DQ non-title match headshot choke like some of the yeah i mean i understand maybe like i understand where they're coming from with like choke because you want to appeal to kids but still i'm pretty sure kids know the word choke and what choke means not going to make them choke the brother or sister oh they actually vince took wrestling and tried to turn it so much into a form of sports entertainment and he was trying to appeal uh to some of the stations who didn't want the violence and he thought, well, let's just change the terminology. We won't call it violence. We'll call it sports, you know, sports entertainment. And if you really look at it, it has so very little wrestling on it. Now I'm going back a, a month because when Vince was still in charge and it's a, it's a show of entrances and music is what it is. Because it, just look at Roman Reigns going to the ring. Hell, it takes him five or six minutes to get to the ring. Now, that gives the announcers a lot of time to say stuff, but hell, you can't hear them. I can't because either the crowd's loud or the, the levels are – I mean, you can't concentrate on what the crowd is saying. And then here he comes in and he holds it up and then the Usos hold it up. And then Paul Heyman holds it up and then they come down. Then he stops. And he looks around. That's already three minutes. He hadn't even got halfway to the ring. Then they go down, they go up the steps. They just take their time. And then he gets there and every, you know what he's going to say, acknowledge me or he says the name of the town, it gets a pop, and then he goes. And then right, he no sooner gets started, then here comes somebody. Here comes Brock, or here comes McIntyre, or whoever he's feuding with at the point. But people know this. I mean, let's do some action. They did start a match, I think, in progress. 
I think two weeks ago or three weeks ago, a fight in the back, which is what I've been advocating for hell over two years. Start with some action and let's go from there. But I think they're so, and this is still is Kevin Dunn. He's still in, in charge of all this. And I, I think habits are hard to break. So I think right now they have, they have been a change in it and a noticeable change. And I think we're, we'll see more change as we go along. I think you'll see it on Raw first, then hit a transfer to Fox, hit a transfer to SmackDown. And I do think that uh, Triple H will, will make a difference, and I think he'll make a big, big difference. Mm-hmm. 